Do I got a story to tell y'all? Hmm. Crazy, shameful, trifling, disrespectful. But I'm on, I'm on that model baby shit. On the grind stack and flip. On that model baby that shit. Model baby. Okay? I'm on that model baby shit. What's good, model babies? Welcome or welcome back to my channel where growth is promoted, success is supported, and love is encouraged. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you're alerted every single time your favorite YouTuber uploads a new video. Become a part of the family, join me throughout my journey of success. In today's video, I'm just going to be telling y'all a little story time about how I got scammed. At this point, I'm so tired of getting scammed. Like, the scammer does not stop for me. It's terrible. I have so many story times about me getting scammed. Yes, I got scammed by my tattoo artist. Like, what? Lay! Lay! <laughs> now, let me stop. I'm going to make this story time like two in one because I got scammed twice by two different tattoo artists from the same shop. I just don't be learning my lesson. Anyways, I'm going to make this first little story time quick because the second one is where the receipts come in and all that, feel me? So, I went to this tattoo shop where I get my piercings done and I get my tattoos done there as well because my original tattoo artist, first tattoo artist had moved. So, I went to the same shop that I got my piercings to get my tattoos done because it's convenient. Why not? For my birthday, I wanted a spine tat. I wanted the number two. I wanted thousand like thousand written out and then i wanted a number three two thousand three because yeah if you know you know you know feel me i don't remember how much he told me for that tattoo say i believe he said like 100 dollars if i'm not mistaken either way he either said 150 or 100 but the deposit for that tattoo was 50 dollars. so i had to pay him 50 dollars that same day that i had scheduled the appointment i scheduled an appointment for sunday or monday i believe one of those days I scheduled it for on my birthday, so I did it like Sunday or Monday. When I schedule my tattoos, I like to get them on meaningful dates. I like them to be meaningful, period. So that's why I was getting the 2003 on my birthday. Like, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. So I pay my deposit, and we're all set. He texts me. He writes the confirmation down, all that. He hands me the business card, all that. Fast forward. Fast forward. Sunday or Monday comes, whichever day I had booked for. I'm calling him because I'm there. I arrive at the shop to get my tattoo. And I go to the door. I'm knocking and I'm ringing the bell. Nobody's there. Nobody's answering. I'm like, what's going on? So I texted him to let him know that I was on my way because I'm not just going to pop up, feel me? He didn't say nothing. So I'm like, okay, I still got to be on time to my appointment because you won't be telling me that I did not come to my appointment, that I won't be getting my deposit back. Yeah, the owner of the shop ended up telling me that the shop was closed that day. So first of all, why would you schedule me on that day anyways that the shop was closed? It's not making sense. That whole story is I scheduled my tattoo appointment with that one dude about five different times due to his inconveniences, not mine. And at a certain point, I'm just like, can I get my deposit back? Like, because this is not working. Like, I'm not getting my tattoo and you're weird. You're weird. Just give me my money back and I'll find somebody else to do it. So basically, long story short, this dude starts texting me so many excuses and he's like, oh yeah, I got court, blah, 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 blah. I'll give you double because you've been waiting so long and being patient with me. So I go into the shop. I'm asking for my deposit back because oh boy, ain't do my tattoo. And he didn't want to give my money back. He had a little attitude talk about he had court. What court got to do with my deposit? Give me my money. Basically, nobody knew anything about him. Old boy ended up changing his number and moving out the shop. So I ain't never get my deposit back. He ain't never contact me again. He was lying to me. Kept lying to me, saying he was finna give me my deposit back. Ain't never give me my deposit back. Anyways, on to story number two about me getting scammed with a tattoo artist. Second one. Same shop. Let me tell you about this one. That spine tag that I was just talking about, he ended up doing that. Dude number two ended up doing that. He did that. He did this butterfly right here. He did this right here. He did um, this right here. Basically, he did a lot of my tattoos. I'm going to do a tattoo tour one day, too, for y'all. Because, yeah, your girl a little tatted up for me. 
this will happen with do number two i book to get i'm gonna insert a picture right here i book to get this tattoo and i'm inserting messages too for y'all well i paid him a 50 dollar deposit for this tattoo he's like i already sent you a deposit mind you this somebody like we chop it up when i get my tats we like feel me we we like that you know that little feel me y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about i tip i like i do all that okay so don't ever try to play my face I pay him the fifty dollar deposit and i'm like this is what i want and i can't remember if he told me how much it was just read the screenshots pause it if you have to so i paid the fifty dollar deposit and i'm ready to go get my tattoo i'm ready to go get my tattoo i pull up to the shop to get my tat and first of all i'm waiting i'm waiting mad long to get my tattoo like why am i waiting after waiting a little minute to get my tattoo we went upstairs to his room. Don't get me wrong, like, his work is really good. He does really, really good work, and that's why I come back to him. And you're not supposed to let everybody touch you anyways for various reasons, not even for one reason. It's, it's a lot deeper than people messing you up. It's a lot deeper. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone, y'all. If you ain't watched my video, go watch my Get Tatted With Me video. That's the same tattoo I got scammed on, bro same exact tattoo if you ain't watch that go watch that after this video basically i'm getting tatted now the tattoo going good or whatever i'm sitting there i'm thugging it out i'm thugging it out he stops the tattoo this is what he did this is what he did y'all he did that much then he stopped the tattoo he's like um i gotta go to work so i can't finish the tattoo right now do you mind coming back tomorrow i'm like yeah i bet i guess i could come back tomorrow because like it's tomorrow i ain't really tripping too much i, I really wanted to get my tat finished today because it's not my fault you gotta work you schedule me at this time type of sense would i make i'm like yeah whatever like i could come tomorrow cool especially because like i had tattoos done with him before so like i'm not thinking anything of it like you never did no funny junk to me i always pay for what i got and i was always satisfied with my tattoos so yeah I don't mind so we set up a time for me to come back the next day and the next day comes i come back to the shop and he's basically nowhere to be found so pretty much he ended up texting me like hey i don't have another needle to tattoo you with i just used my last one on my um previous client so I can't tattoo you today. Oh, hold on. I forgot some. I paid the $50 deposit for this tattoo. And the same day that he did the tattoo, he's like, it'll be $100. So I pay him the $100 plus a $50 deposit. That's $150 for an unfinished tattoo. So yeah, next day comes. He's like, I can't tattoo. I used my last needle on my previous client. So you're going to have to come back another day. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. Another inconvenience to me. Because of who? Not me, you. Huh. Another date for me to come. Then that date comes, he has another excuse. So I still didn't get the tattoo finished. I still, I'm walking around with an unfinished tattoo to this day. It's crazy. He never finished that tattoo. It was always so many excuses as to why he could not do my tattoo. Like, this is crazy. I texted him so many times like, hey, when can I come to get my tattoo? And mind you, I was moving soon after that. This was back in the hometown. So I was leaving like a couple weeks after that had happened. I tried to get with him before I left home. I tried to get with him before I left New York. I never got a tattoo finished by him. So then when I came back to visit New York, I texted him and he basically didn't answer me. He left it on red. He didn't say nothing. I texted him about getting my tattoo finished and the nigga did not say nothing. So I'm like, I bet. Bet. That's just messed up because like I'm a good paying customer. I always tip you. I always, you know, and I recommend people to you. I have people actually coming to you. Like I'm referring you and this is how you repay me. This is how you repay me. It's terrible. It's terrible. At the end of the day, I never got my tattoo finished. And I paid for a service that I did not fully receive. Pretty much. Um, the tattoo was halfway finished. Like, 
it's not bad, but like he basically he had to shade it in and he had to go over certain spots to make it darker. So this just looks like a like an outline. It looks like a stencil if you ask me or something. I don't know, but definitely don't look like no finish at too. Like it looks crazy if you ask me. It looks like childish artwork. Don't be like me and don't get scammed all the time. I don't know how I always end up getting scammed. Like, I don't do nothing terrible. I don't do nothing to get karma to get scammed, if that makes sense. I don't do nothing to deserve this. I get scammed all the time. Like, it's not even funny. Like, y'all gonna get tired of me getting scammed, telling me scam story time. But anyways, um, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please be sure to like this video if you stay all the way through. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hold on, what I said? I said, please be sure to like this video if you stay all the way through and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I didn't even do that on purpose. I swear, I did not do that on purpose. Yeah, like I said, that's the end of this video, y'all. I'm finna get ready to go to bed. Y'all see I got a headband thing on. Uh, yeah, okay. I talk too much. Bye. Love y'all.